as I'm filming this video, around 60 days are left for this year to end. And it is but natural to feel that that time is flying by and the goals that were set for this year in the beginning cannot be achieved but even one day is sufficient even two days are sufficient and we have around 60 days to crack the code hi this is atya here welcome to phd premier where we speak about phd mindset and personal finance today we are going to discuss about how to conquer the goals in rest of the 60 days it can be done very easily i think we have placed so much importance on the beginning of the year that we forget to realize that even one day is enough even two days are sufficient even few hours are sufficient the concept that i wish to illustrate for today's video is keystone habits i came across this term in a book called the power of habit and also in a blog post by james clear to his book atomic habits so i wish to connect both of these concepts to illustrate how it is possible to achieve the goals that were set for 2021 with least resistance. Now what are keystone habits? Habits could be of several types but keystone habits are foundational practices that help in creating a new set of habits. We will see examples and everything but let me illustrate on this point of keystone habits. They mark the base level of what you do without much willpower or persuasion. That means the effort which is required for this is quite less. Keystone habits could be negative or positive and they create a ripple effect. That means they influence all the other areas of life. There are three basic characteristics of any keystone habit. So the first they are small and easy. It does not require much effort to do these steps, to practice this, to inculcate this. Second, every habit that is formed from a keystone habit should be positively affiliated to the previous keystone habit. That means if because of one habit, other habit is formed, they both should be linked. The third and the most important characteristic is it should lead to development of other habits. That is why it is called as keystone habits. You might ask, what are these keystone habits? Now, it depends on each person's lifestyle. It is not an easy question to answer. You will have to do some self-reflection to understand which are the keystone habits which are good for you. But I will do my best to suggest some of them. And moving ahead, let's divide these keystone habits into four types. Physical, emotional, intellectual and spiritual. So let's understand which are these four categories and some of my suggestions which will help in building these keystone habits and I hope that it will help in putting a strong foundation for the end of the year and also to help you in conquering your own goals. So let's begin with the phys uh, physical ones. Some of the examples could be food journaling. If one of your goal is related to health, many of the times what happens is we don't understand exactly what we are eating, what uh, physical exercise that we are doing before moving on to the goal. So food journaling, writing down whatever you ate and what physical exercise was done that helps in gaining awareness as to what is actually going on. Sometimes what happens, we feel that we are eating healthy but actually in between the snacks we are eating unhealthy stuff and junk food. So food journaling can be one of the keystone habits which builds awareness and which leads to development of other healthy habits like healthy eating, workout etc. Second habit at physical level could be one of the workout and this is very true for me and I'm sure for most of us working out the first thing in the morning helps to set the tone of the day and it helps in me being more productive for somebody it could be working out in the evening so whatever schedule it is this workout habit can be a major game changer in us being productive the whole day or for the whole week and I can clearly make out the difference when I work out in the morning and I don't work out. It is definitely a keystone habit for me at least. Moving on to the next category that are emotional keystone habits. 
emotional keystone habits could be accepting oneself with all the flaws that is one self acceptance second at times you see people being passively aggressive that means being nasty to you without directly saying anything so calling out such people or calling out such behavior that could be another emotional uh, keystone habit which will set your boundaries right and which will keep you at a place which is emotionally stable and third keystone habit could be having the realization of how far you have come what all challenges that have been overcome to reach the place that you have been we often think about what is going to come in future but we so forget to realize how far we have come we constantly keep looking for external validation to reinforce the fact that we have done something good and this happens with everybody to the best of us just having that realization or being a timer every day at a set point could help in putting you in a place which is at peace moving on to the next category that is intellectual now as intellectual now as phd students or as students or any other worker who has a job or any other entrepreneur who has his own small or big business daily referencing daily study is one of the habit which leads to further action in the specific area for example if i do my reference every day then automatically i have ideas around which experiment i can which experiment i can do next which are the potential what are the potential advantages or disadvantages of doing an experiment and i can plan the week around as opposed to when i don't do so for phd students it could be daily reference for other uh, entrepreneurs it could be researching about your own field or researching about how the market is for teachers it could be preparing for lectures doing their own daily reference reporting negative results this is specific to phd students we get so caught in looking for positive results that i feel we often forget to document the negative results that we get negative results are very important because they show the direction that you do not have to take again or you may waste time doing that trying to do that experiments when there is evidence that this experiment does not work this habit of looking for positive results and ignoring negative results is more often than not reinforced by people around us moving on to the next category that is spiritual now spiritual now spirituality for each one is separate and i would say mindfulness exercises are a key i believe every person spirituality for some people could include mindfulness and some of the exercises could be meditation or journaling just a walk we have given so much focus on meditation that we have forgotten that there are so many exercises which can foster mindfulness mindfulness is nothing but being present in one moment some of the mindfulness examples could be writing down your thoughts on a paper looking in the mirror giving positive uh affirmation doing breath work now recent studies suggest that breath work has benefits which are similar to the ones you get from meditation sitting silent in nature that also can help in fostering mindfulness these were all my suggestions for different categories now let me give one bonus keystone habit that has worked for me it may not fall in any of these categories but i still wish to say planning the day the night before today evening you plan what you are going to do tomorrow and this helps to put things in perspective and you don't have to worry about what you have to do the next day on that day so this habit has worked very well for me and for me it is person personally the most important keystone habit it has helped me in being productive than what i was earlier so i think we have discussed enough you can pick any one from these or uh, any other habit and see how it affects the different areas of life it is best if you document it because you can see it visually how it starts affecting stay tuned for next video